So how do you get five and six year olds up to the M and the R component of the SAMR model with technology? It can be a very daunting thought, but it's highly attainable. One app that my kids use is called Poplet Light. It's a free version. They can create a web. You, I always started out um, whole class on my iPad. I bring up the kids one at a time while they're working on other things and teach them how to use it. And we generate a class web of a topic, let's say pumpkins, and each kid tells me what they know about pumpkins. Instead of writing it on chart paper, we use our tablet. I can take a screenshot and I can email it to parents and say, hey, this is what we did in school today. Look at what your kid thought of. Look at what the other students thought of. It's great um, as far as communicating with the other kids in the class and seeing each other's work. Erasma. So with Erasma, think QR codes on steroids. Last year's class did a, um, but they learned about butterflies and I had them write a poem and I also had them write facts about their butterflies. They did a little art project. I filmed them reading their work and on each, after I had hung up their work around the room, I created Erasma triggers and the kids were then able to walk around, hold up their device with their earphones in. They got to listen to each other's published work. So Kishin is an ESL student from China. She was only in the United States for a year when she made her Erasma video. And it was so great because it really allowed her voice to come through. Usually during class discussions, she would shy away from sharing. She would come and talk to me, but she didn't feel comfortable talking to her classmates. So this Erasma video that, she, that I filmed her doing was really the first time the kids heard her speak. And it was so great seeing her confidence grow. It's, it's a fantastic tool for the kids. Another app to help your class get into that sharing aspect of their digital work is Padlet. I learned about Padlet through this book Amplify and um, the kids will sign into the account and it's kind of like a digital bulletin board. You can change it and modify it as you wish, um, how it's laid out, you play around with it. I did a lot of YouTube searching for instructional videos on how to use Padlet myself. I tried it out with my kids. It was great. So um, I used the link to email parents so that they could view their kids' work and again, see the work of other students and um, just to share their knowledge. Um, it's, it's a great interactive tool. Another great way to have a flipped or classroom, I guess you would say, is to use Erasma as a trigger to teach different centers. So this year I applied for a grant and I got $1,500 to purchase steam kits from Lakeshore for my classroom. So blessed, actually it's for K1 and 2, I do share. But I created Erasma triggers with the little cards that came in them. Because like I said, my kids can't read, even though these have pictures. <laughs> and should be self-explanatory. There are also extens extension things and questions that you can ask them on the back. So what I did was each one of these little cards in the steam kits is an Erasmus trigger of me, basically just a photograph of this card and I'm voicing over the words, reading it to them, and reading the things on the back, they're seeing this image while they're holding their iPad over, listening to their directions and the tips and tricks that they can do to try to be successful on these things. Oh, I just put myself in the eye. Um, and so they're able to be independent and I don't have to stop what I'm doing with one group to come over and explain what to do next in these steam kits, so it's fantastic because I can be in more than one place at the same time. <laughs> Other things I've done with iPads, I have let my kids in the previous year use iMovie to retell fairy tales. I had a tag student do a stop motion movie with Play-Doh making 3D shapes. That was really interesting. Um, 
we did create digital science stories on force and motion. Each kid made their own movie. It was very challenging with a high class. So I will say that this year's group of kids that I have, I have not used iMovie. We've just used the video feature on the camera and that is good enough. <laughs> so, you know, you know your kids best, play around with it, um, see how you like it.